Okay, here's the second of today. If we can get down there. Not see anything. Clouds and damn things are all in the way. And uh, there it is. Let's get landed. The Bricks Nations. We'll have a look out and see what lights we got. We can see some on the landing pad already, so that's okay. Well, there's a bit on the landing pad. Ah, uh, that's nicely lit up. Mostly race initiators. Biohazard. And defense turrets. Oh, that's nice. How'd you get them off of there? <laughs> Underneath. And there's the size of the landing pad. My word, it shrunk. Let's go around the side then. So we're the entrance to the building, perhaps. That looks like a big multi-doored gate let's go look to the side a second so side on view is very lit and the last piece is right at the back so we're just going to go there the last section right at the tail a whacking great laser light beam. Uh, it could be communications beams, we don't know. Ah, uh, but there you are. Lit as hell. But not over lit, if you know what I mean. Right, let's wait for daylight. And there we have the beginnings of daylight. Right, so as you can see, there is a red light underneath this lot. I'm presuming... It's huge -ed because the red lights, there's four of them. Four, I don't know, six. Call it six. Oh, maybe more. I don't know. Uh, I must be seeing things. There's. Okay, so it's covering both. But eight. Let's say eight. Changed my mind yet again. <laughs> uh, but look how small the landing pad is. Okay, you couldn't call that over if you wanted. Right, let's get up on top again. And there is the other landing pad. Very, 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 very small. Smaller than small. <laughs> we got a safe pad on the uh, landing pad in case you want to walk off. Uh, in case you feel like you're going to die with all these laser beams. And the hazard sign has... Uh, uh, defense turrets. Wait, they're, uh, they're off of freighters, aren't they? Can we get them? Uh, I doubt it. He's probably got those. Um, okay. Small mistake. Not a lot. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Out of line... They are not on... Yeah, so those four hazard signs, the rest are triangled correctly. Well, not correctly. We don't know which one's correct. I mean, they could be correct. It doesn't matter. There's nothing important. But... Whoa, what? How many doors? Ah, it looks like a complete circle where there's so many damn doors. <laughs> Okay, so that's through there. Uh, ah, right, well, there's the base computer. We'll have that bastard. So we're going to take the coordinates a second. And having done that, we will proceed. Big hallway. <laughs> Not long, but very big. Um, we, we've got a light thing, as long as they don't kill me. Uh, this is to um, burn away any bacteria you may be carrying indoors. Yeah. Ow, ow! Right, okay. In here, a uh, small structure, plinth, and a hole in the floor. Little hole, but yes. Okay, we got some pump-like over there. 
Another one of them with the plinth that way round. That's uh, not that I care. Uh, we, we got one of these tables stacked out with make it look extremely busy. I like some of these displays. More movement the better as far as we're concerned. We got an empty storage container and a grub. A grub up device. Welcome to the grub ups. We got a uh, golden man. He's not got a golden gun, he's just a golden man. And he tends to work into the exocraft man table. Is it, is it similar? But I don't think it is. I don't, I don't know. Could be. How would I know? No, I don't think it is. It's just. Uh, uh, well, no, it's not a table, but it's a pretend table because he put someone on there. What we got behind here? I don't know. I should really stick to one way, so that's what I'll do. Otherwise, I'll get confused. Here we have... Um, I don't know, metal detector. <laughs> um, could be... Who knows? And obviously the settlement hub interface, which I'm not going to touch anymore because I know from a past experience they do not always be pleasant to you. Now uh, we got an upstairs, but I'm going to um, uh, not squeeze around here. Why are we falling off? Oh, wait, am I even down here? Oh well, it doesn't matter, we're down. We can have a look. Look at this, the light bulb. Here's the red light bulb. So we're not supposed to be down here, I don't think, but for some reason I fell down. I hope it's not going to affect the way I come out. Up. Oh, let me in, let me in, let me in. No, all right, don't let me in. Whoa, mind that. i going to take my bloody head off. Okay, so <laughs> how I've got to do is figure a way to get out. I come to that, figure a way that I got in. Uh, how did I get in? I, I don't know. <laughs> I think I fell through this gap. Well, let's try again, shall we? Yep, I think that's what happened. There's a small gap and it let me fall through. But the window's there now. Oh no, it was in there, wasn't it? Yeah, that's where it is. That's okay, it's a way out if you fall through the floor at least. Or partially, anyway. What we got here? Safes. Cooking pots, I, pressure cookers. Three of them. One potato each. Modifier, obviously. One heck of a heater. Is it heaters? They look like heaters. But they don't say they are. Weird. Okay. More red lights under the floor. And this is... What the bloody hell is that made of? You've got to be kidding me. That's not all radar dishes, is it? My fucking hell. <laughs> Pardon my uh, Viking. That is, well, wow, okay, wow, I don't even say anything else, but wow, all right, um, so that leaves me in here, that must be another door, yeah, another big circular door, leading to the, the, the what's it called, the base terminus thing, the portal, I always call them portals, so, I don't care. I'm going to stick to what I say. This looks like more of those heaters from big to small. Um, that is... Um, they could be used for uh, when you're glyphing to get the sizes correct. Not glyphing. Glitching! I can't even say the word now. So here is a... Kind of got hands, so I'm guessing it's some sort of wheeled robot 
And I'm going to put my torch on because it's a bit dark. Not much better, but <laughs> I can see the uh, uh, the symbol at the back. But yeah, it looks like a robot, I guess. A very speci specified job robot. Um, well, we better go upstairs and have a look up here. Carefully not to fall, not fall down that hole again. So we've got a storage room, basically, up here in the loft. A storage room. I don't suppose they can fly over to the other one, but there you go. Well, we won't bother, because then we might get lost. And that won't be unusual, will it? Was there a door? Yeah, there was. Okay. Let's get up this side. More storage. But, it's, you know, power to him. He can do it. Why not? Uh, that's a hole, isn't it? I don't want to get stuck in there. So we go down the side and in the room. And in the womb <laughs> is some big sod off nip nips. Yep, big uns. I like a nice pair of big uns. And that's that table we looked at on the other side when we came through. Right, let's get outside now and go around the outside. Go through the fire and the big door. Whee! And down. So underneath the race initiator path, uh, we've got some small metal lumps. Mm -hmm. Get the right height, I guess. I don't know. Wait, there's a solar panel. How much power is here then? Oh, quite a bit. Power storage, 180,000. Just in case. Just in case an eclipse comes, you need the solar power. So there's one of the hazard signs. Race initiator overview or over bridge. Um, I guess I'll call it that. What's on here? Just a walking platform. Got on the other side, there's still one on the other side as well. It may be the flooring that um, on the other side. Uh, mind the beam because it'll cut you. Okay, go around that. Got to be very careful you don't do an accident. Uh, there's what was underneath. We were underneath a while ago. So, there's the view through the outside to the underneath. If you can't see your underneath, what can you do? Is that one? More underneath? There's a lot more of it than it looks. I don't think I covered the lot underneath. So I don't want to really fall through and get stuck, if you see what I mean. That'll be a bugger. Still got a torch on. Why? Let's go to the other side of this. Where are we? Where are we? Um, windows, obviously. Glass. You can see the stains. Top to bottom. Off again. Round to the other side. Not the other side, but we're on the other side. What are you doing? Get out of it. You nosy get. Uh, can't see what's in there. Or even whether I can get in it. No, it's blanked off. That looks like those doors, though. But it won't open, so that's not the doors. So don't pretend it is. So let's get round the last section. Another save spot. Just in case one of these falls on you and dies you. Gets you killed. 
Oh, you bitch. Hiding in the bushes there. Oh, no, we don't want that one. The floor I was after. Right, because the rocks hardly attack. They hardly attack. Um, can't remember the last time I was attacked by a rock, but there you go. Could have been when someone flung it at me. Let's get a bird's eye view here. Well, let's hope I land correctly, because, like I say before, <laughs> doing it without seeing your feet is a pain in the butt. We used to play like this. Glass extractor. Some people like this view. Kind of get used to it. So, you can get used to it. Ooh, oh, bloody hell. I think I managed that. That hole. I don't want to fall in that hole. Do I? No, of course I don't. <laughs> don't be stupid. Ah, we go right over. Let's get up on this one. Yeah. All right, so that didn't work. We skipped over that one because I couldn't land. Uh, I kept bumping into them things, the initiators, and it wouldn't let me land. So looking through the glass roof, there's one of those paths up to the rooms. So that is the last section. So we can land on this bit. Whatever it's made of, I have no idea, obviously. Looks like plates of metal. Let's go here, see if we can get up in this gap. Uh, no, I landed on the turret. <laughs> so that wasn't good, was it? <laughs> so the freighter turrets. But down onto the floor. Let's look at this. Look, I like this door. Is, uh, uh, does that tell me how many doors there are? That is like billions. And they're side on. That's the side, obviously. Of course. That's why it's so wide lipped. That's the size. That's, each of those is a plane of the hangar door. Oh, good. That's bloody clever. Right, we're off. We. <laughs> We find some fascinating things about this base. He loves his smallers and largenesses. He likes getting big and smalls. Or should I just say he loves his smalls? It's better than loving someone else's. Right, let's go. It's dark. We're off. We like it. It's interesting. And we will see you later. Ta-ra!